hospital vlog day. Mm -hmm. We're on our way to the hospital. Yeah. Six fourteen. We gotta be there by seven thirty. So we're on our way, huh? Yeah. It'll be a long day, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. So a lot of traffic out. And they're all going to work. Yeah. And a lot of these factories they have to be at work by seven. Yeah, so that's what we're doing. And uh well if we see anything interesting or once we get there we'll kick you on, huh? Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Too early. <laughs> uh, and I'm tired. I'm tired, sorry. Tired. Not your fault. Just a bunch of crap that's happened. <laughs> all together. Okay. It's a bunch of crap that ha you said all together. Yeah. We were saying that all together. All together. Anyway, so <laughs> hey, we'll kick you on here shortly, or maybe once it turns daylight out. So you can see a little bit. Yeah, traffic's all looking at me like, look, he's got a camera. Yeah, they, they're freaking out. <laughs> a lot of people know anymore. They're probably like, that guy's vlogging. <laughs> all right, guys, we'll kick you on in a minute. We're getting closer. We got 16 minutes. We never came this way before, so. But this is what we're looking at. It's getting daylight out. I'm on my GPS down there. That's right. I need this one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but <sighs> so scared? Huh? Are you scared? A little nervous, are you? No. <laughs> well, you're not going through the procedure. Nope. I'm not having all those things poked at me. Nope. Did your mom have this done? Yeah, she had it done. There wasn't, but she felt sick. She had nausea. She felt nauseous a lot. So yeah. But otherwise, she did it. She she made it through it. So you can make it through this. You'll be fine. I know. So it is a nuclear stress test. Uh huh. Wow, we're coming into some civilization now. Closer to I hope, because we're only 14 minutes out now. Yeah, but see, if we had stayed on the highway, we would have had to go down Archer Road, and we would have had to hit all those lights. So this way, we're not hitting. We're already almost right there. Already so, almost right there. Well, that's why. Yeah, I could set up right there and sell. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Have a good time. Should have brought stuff to sell. You could have sold while I was doing this. Yep, I could have, but I'm not. Probably do fine on this road. Maybe probably be a good place to set up. Huh? Focus. It's not focusing. No, it's not. Maybe we're on a haunted stretch of road. There we go, it focused. Well, it is a haunted stretch of road. Well, 441 is haunted. Yeah, this is an old highway. Hold up. What, really? Mm -hmm. Well, that don't make it haunted. Oh yeah, it has lots of ghosts and goblins. It's got ghosts. Mm-hmm. Are you just being this way for the camera, or are you serious? No, I've been told <laughs> there are in certain parts of it. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Maybe the camera picked up a ghost. You never know. Yeah. So, all right. Well. Down 9.5 miles. We got 9.5 miles, 13 minutes. So we get ready to go through the plains. So you might want to take a little bit of a, a the plains. Plains, yeah. For the airport? No. Plains. The fields. All oh, the Water. fields. <laughs> hey, there's camping up here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Right over there is camping. Oh, it's 
closed. Sunrise anyway. 
That over there is the highway. I don't know if you can see them little dots moving. Those are semis. But that's the highway. If we stayed on the highway, we'd be over there right now. Mm -hmm. But yeah, this is beautiful. One more shot of that. I took a still image. I don't know how well it came out. Well, I'll take another one now. Yeah, because it might be the last sunrise I see. Yeah, maybe. Alright, guys. Yeah, that was pretty. Yeah, it is. The pretty plains. Good. Oh, you know. But prairie is like out west. The prairie is like just open fields, you know. Yeah. But this is pretty cool though. That was that was nice. So we must be getting close. Yeah, eight minutes. Eight minutes. How many miles? Three point seven miles. To Three point seven miles. Return. Where'd you get them glasses at? They look nice on you. Uh, I don't know. Who gave them to me? They don't know. You did. You gave them to me. Yeah, my last spare pair, and she, hers broke, and then she bought this cheap pair, this black pair of glasses that didn't do nothing, really. Mm -hmm. I even tried them on, and they, you couldn't really tell a difference. Now so, I, I had those put back, and so I dug them out for her. My last pair, huh? Yeah, my last pair. That's okay, because we share, I'm using her camera right now. <laughs> Solar panel. Yeah. Look at that. It covers the damn house, though. Geez. Look out your front window. You see solar panels. And hear traffic. Yeah. All right. So we're, yeah, we're getting we're, there. Yeah, we're getting close. Yeah, it's getting daylight. Your clock's wrong up here. I yeah. haven't set it. Nope. 7.09. It's actually 7.09. I'm going to be there by 7.30, so we got some time be there in seven minutes that's weird you know I got three appointments one's at eight one's at nine and one's at 930 mm -hmm. so the 930 one must be the five hour one huh? I don't know I'm getting like two or three different tests done and this should be it and then they should be able to determine what they're gonna do if they can do anything. Well, hopefully they won't have to open me up. Oh, uh, they might have so to. So closed. That would not If they good. can't patch it, that's that's the only other option pretty much we or got. Or leave you alone, and then all you do is have multiple strokes until it gets really, really bad. And that's it. Between medication and just... Well, I don't want to have a stroke every three months. Either. No, I don't want you having a stroke every three months because my worry is you end up in a vegetable. In a vegetable? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you end up in a bed looking at a TV set until you die. That's not pleasurable. That would not be living. Well, no, just take me. Yeah. Well. And you can live a long time like that. A lot of people do. I just live a long time just like Well, that's not living, though. No, it's not. Just laying there, I mean... You're just existing. Yeah. So are we actually in Gainesville now? Yeah, this is part There's of There's a sign up there. What's that sign say? I can't see. It says 331. No. Not what that sign one. are you looking at? I can't see right now. Focus. It's out of focus again. It's trying to focus on a tail light or something. Come on. Alabama. Yeah, we're Alachua. Alachua. And Lake, Lake Orange. No. Lake, Lake, Lake Orange. Oh. Lake Okeechobee. No, that damn butter. <laughs> oh, Atlanta Lake. Lakes. Yeah. No, that's way, that's Lake the of, other direction. Lake of Lands or no, something. No, Land Lakes is down by Leesburg area, <laughs> ain't it? No. No, that's down by uh, Bushnell. Maybe. Right? Yeah. Or is it Bush now? Where is it? Land where, of Lake. Where, where's our, our Coney Island place we go to? Coney Island? Where Elvis ate at? Coney Island. Oh, that's in uh, Brooksville. Yeah, okay. Land of Lakes is down below Brooksville, right? Lake City. Lake City. City. Well, I had a latch of wood, right? Lake City. So. It's Lake City. UF Health. See, this is part 
part of that's where I'm going to US Health, but not back there. So I hop. Yeah. That's where all the one-legged girls waitress at. We have me pancakes. Yeah, I hop. I hop. You want pancakes? Mm -hmm. I ain't allowed to eat nothing until I get out of this place. No so water, no nothing. I'm still. It's gonna be five o'clock before I can eat anything. Yeah. Wow. I haven't had water since 11:59 last night. So I haven't had water for seven hours. Mm -hmm. I think this is the street that I had to go by because I can't go down that street. So oh, there's where we're going. I think that was part of the problem. So we are close to four we minutes. US, UF Health, that's where I'm going. Yeah, I see. I had to go down a block or something. I think that's what I had to do because it wants me to turn down this way. Yeah, and we can't, right? No. I can't. It always tells us to go yeah, this way and we can't. Yeah, do not enter. So I gotta go the down the garage. Yeah. The hospital's right behind there. So I have to go club. with the lights, I think. How big these parking garages are. And these, are, they, are, are these apartments for regular people or students? They're for students. Student apartments there, like dorms. Yeah. Check out this bridge, guys. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Walking and bicycle bridge. Okay, I got to turn here. Telling us to turn around. We can't. No, it's telling me to go down Archer Road. This is Archer Road. Huh? Look, it's telling us to go back. Well, I'm gonna go this way. This is the way we went last time because it <coughs> took us this way before. So I went up this way. We went to the hospital this way. Well, I'll just keep it rolling. Roll it, roll it, roll it. <laughs> Do that again. No, one time thing. Come on. Roll it, roll it, roll it. Yeah, there's the hospital. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we came up this way. Okay, so. It's a big, this is a big turn place. Turn at this light here. Like we did last time. Parking over there. This place is huge. Look at that building. Isn't that cool? I don't know if this camera's picking it up. Oh, it's colorful. Isn't that neat? Mm -hmm. We're going here. Mm -hmm. So I gotta shut you off because I'm gonna be getting out right up here. So back with you. Okay, so I just waited in there for like 20 fucking minutes. And when we come and find out we gotta we had to cross the road, cross the road again, because we was in the wrong building. I was told to go where I went last time, and this is not where I went last time. No. No. So, we're walking down the street. At least she called them and told them I'm here. Yeah, the lady did. Yeah, because I walked in, I was early. And I walked in. It was like, it wasn't even 20 minutes after, and she said, uh, we don't know until 7.30. I was like, well, Jesus, bitch. You know, not much of a people person, was she? No. Oh, so we're you... here. We're going to go right down there. Yeah, so we're going down here. And we're going in down here. Yeah. This is the North Tower, they call it. Yeah. So we don't get hit by a plane. Okay. So far. I am now radioactive man. <laughs> I have radioactive, radioactive stuff flowing through me. 
So I gotta wait an hour. And then they're gonna take pictures. And the stuff what it does is it glows through their camera so they can see right. what's going on. Okay. So I am radioactive. And then they're gonna take pictures. <laughs> and then I gotta wait another hour, but then I can give you something to eat and drink. Right. And then I go back after that and take more pictures. Yeah. Yeah. What it does is simulates being on a treadmill. Right. It makes my heart rate go up and stuff, so. Um, but there will be a physician present. Just in case. Yeah, so. That's what's happening. So I am radioactive as we speak. But you'll be fine. This is easier. She said I won't have any superpowers or nothing, though. No. 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 She said I won't be like the Hulk or Spider-Man or anything. But I, it was pretty wild because the syringe that they injected me with actually has lead around it. Mm -hmm. because it's radioactive mm -hmm. and she was like well we deal with it all day long this is kind of to protect us and I'm like <laughs> I seen that I was like is that lead and she was like yeah <laughs> so the thing they injected me with the syringe actually had a the syringe goes through this lead thing and then they, yeah. they shoot my arm up there so alright so we're waiting we still got about another, what, 45 minutes left, right? Yeah. Then I go back, take pictures. It takes about 10 minutes. And then I can go get something to drink. She could have a, she said I could have a drink of water, but of course, I can't find a damn water fountain. Nope. And I haven't had anything to drink at all since midnight. Nope. Nope. Give me a I'll make it. Yeah, this won't be. This piece of cake to me, I, I thought it was going to be a lot to worse. You. Hmm. Well, you're not doing it. No, but it don't matter. You don't have all in your heart. It's better than going up here. Yeah, so apparently they're not going to do that. They don't have to go up through the groin. No. So, you shaved me last night for nothing. <laughs> Hello? Yep. Alright, we'll be back <laughs> with you. Alright, so. I just got my stress test. What? Part of it. Huh? Part mm -hmm. of it. Mm hmm Yeah, I got my stress, the stress test part is done. Okay. That was intense. If you don't have to do it, I wouldn't recommend it. Hmm. It's rough. So. Now, we wait. And we're going to wait, and hopefully things will open up so we can eat. Because yeah, well, now he needs to eat. We're in the cafeteria, and everything opens at 11. So it's about 11, so we're going to see what they got. So I can get some to eat. I got my, I don't have Coke, so I got my Pepsi. They said to drink caffeine. It'll help. Whew, that's rough. Hmm. Good, and then we eat, and then we go back and do more pictures. I got to be, I gotta be it's 11 o'clock now, well, pretty close, about 11 o'clock, and then I go back, I got to go back at 11.35 to 11.45, mm -hmm. and then they're going to take more pictures of my chest, because I still got the radioactivity stuff in me, so, <sighs> bro, I got a headache like crazy so anyway that's what's yeah that's supposed to help it so that's what's going on we'll be back with you okay guys yeah we're done yep for now for yeah for now that's rough guys i'm still out of breath yeah and we could have valet parked for free but no she has to park us up in here for free. In a park garage. Well, it's for free. for free, but then we gotta walk to it. We see, go that way. and we gotta go up four flights. 
to where we could have valet parked for free. They would have parked it for us. So we going oh, to the elevator. Well, we got elevators. Ooh, somebody running. Valet. Yeah. We just gotta go get somebody's car. Yeah. Yeah. See. Oh, I ain't even. Huh? <laughs> Getting dark. No, I was like way over here, not paying attention because I was looking at other stuff. Mm -hmm. So, there we go. Yep. Let's go for a ride in the elevator car. Or not. We're going. Okay. Four, please. Four. Thanks. Oh. I'm so tired. In the elevator. Ooh. <laughs> Shit. What the hell? I don't know. Let's get the fuck out of here. You did that on purpose. No, I did not. Oh my god. Whatever. We could have crashed. We could have crashed. Where's the truck? Way up on the hill. Did the sea did the sea antenna hit these things? Yes, it fell down. <laughs> Oh, I was gonna stop, but I had all these cars behind me. I'm going clink, 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 clink. Well, you gotta go slow. I did. You did? And then it finally fell off. Okay, guys, so anyway, we're heading to the truck, and I'll turn you back on when we do something else exciting. What are we doing that's exciting? Sleep. You're driving, you know. <laughs> I guess I'm driving in my sleep. <laughs> I used to like doing that on long. Wanted, you wanted something exciting. On long trips. Yeah. We'd take long trips on road trips and stuff with my friends. <laughs> I'd be driving. Yeah. And almost I would jump and they'd wake up and I'd go, man, you guys wouldn't believe the dream I just had. And they're like, you know you're driving, right? <laughs> ah. <laughs> That's some funny shit. Oh, there's our truck. There's the truck. Yeah, you knocked the damn antenna down. Yeah. Hey, Alright, we'll be back with you guys. So we thought we'd give you a view. We're on the fourth, the fourth view, yeah, the fourth floor. See, last time I was here, I was over in that building there. I was really cold for some reason, so I had to go over to where that door is. If you see that door there. That door right there. You can't go in or out, it, it's a fire door. But I stood there at the door because the sun was coming in so and that building wasn't even started yet was it uh -uh. did they have the girders up yet I don't think so either I think they was just like you know yeah. doing, doing the leveling that's how quick they're coming along on that building so there's a guy on a skateboard guy on a skateboard uh -huh. what's over on this side huh life life Nothing. Oh, there's a little. Is that a pond? There's a pond over there. Is that a pond? Oh, I wouldn't call it a pond. It's maybe a retention thing. Retention know? pond, yeah. yeah. Those are apartments or condos for the university here. A lot of parking, though. Well, thank goodness. But it's free, though. Yeah, yeah. it's free. Well, this is where the valet apparently parks them. Mm -hmm. So. Well, I went back to the same place because I figured I knew where this was. I didn't want to get lost. Easy right. to get lost here. Big time. So. Uh, uh, that stress test ain't ain't no fun. No, the I pictures are okay. That was. Yeah, I fell asleep, part. but the stress test, even though it only lasted what not even five minutes yeah it just like she said as she said in about 30 seconds you're gonna feel like you're losing your breath yeah but don't be alarmed it'll go away and she wasn't kidding it was about 30 seconds I started could catch my breath she's like it's okay calm down all right and she goes now what you're gonna feel you're gonna feel like you just ran up a flight of steps as fast as you can and no more she finished that it just immediately I was <laughs> I was out of breath, like I was running. Right. 
the only difference was my legs wasn't hurting as if I did. Yeah. But my chest and everything felt like I, I did that. Then that doctor, he's, he's the physician, they keep a physician there. He keeps an eye on the, because they got you hooked up to an EKG. Right. Then he was looking at the at the readouts, because it was like from here to that white forward there, as long as they were, and he kept folding them up. And he comes to one, and he goes, oh, man. Nah, I'm just fooling you. I was oh, like, you son of a bitch. What do you say out of sense of humor? A younger guy. Yeah. It's really cool, though. <laughs> So, because they don't read them, they just do them. Well, he's a physician, so he has to make sure they're coming through. Yeah, he don't read the test. He was reading the my make heart sure. monitor. Yeah, making sure. Were they concerned by their faces? Well, Sometimes people will show an well, expression. Well, no, because because my heart my different. heart's working fine. Right. It's just got a hole in it. But he's, he's there to make sure I don't go into a heart attack or something, you know, because right. some people can't handle that. No. Of course, my heart is pretty healthy, except for the hole in it. So. Right. All right. So, yeah, we're just, we're going to, we're going to take the back roads back home again? Yeah. Yeah, we always do that because it's fun, huh? Well, it's closer for us. Yeah, it's closer for us and it's fun. Yeah. We didn't bring you that way on the way here because we just wanted to get up here and it was dark, so... Well, we did go that way, halfway. Yeah, about halfway. Yeah. But we'll because go back. that's the way the GPS brought me. Yeah. We'll, so, but we'll go back the I'm back road. thinking the back way has to be closer. Yeah. All right. We'll kick you back on when something exciting happens, huh? Yeah, off and running. All right, let's go back to the truck. The truck's over there. But she said, oh, let's go check out the other corner. And there was a guy down here at them dumpsters and them trash compactors throwing bodies in right down here. Now that's, that's what you said. You said, look, there's a body. Oh, look, there's another one. All right, guys. Well, we were on the ground floor. Yeah, but we wasn't in the basement, so. We were close to it, though. There was still one floor below us. That's where the morgue was. And she's fucking with me going, oh, they want to keep you close just in case. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll kick you back on in a minute. We're almost to the truck. So that siren you just heard turned down the street? Yeah. Because the truck is just right over there on the other side of that truck. And there's people down here looking up that street. Yeah. So, see, they're looking. Yeah. Monkey said it turned up that street, so something's going on up there. At least they're close to the hospital. And there's there's an old well, it's, I don't know if it's old or not, but the Arby sign. Remember the Arby signs, guys? Actually, if we was on the fourth floor of a regular building like that, we'd be about 40 feet up. We're about 50 feet up because we're in the garage. But yeah, there, there's something going on over there. We're back in there. All right, more to come. Too much coffee. Too much coffee. Yeah, from studying. Yeah. What we got here? Is this a Porsche? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, that is a Porsche. Yeah, that's a Porsche. Probably a doctor's car. I don't think he'd be parking here. Boxster. Cool. Alright guys, more to come. Okay guys, we just thought we'd share this with you. We are at KP Hole County Park. This is very cool. I think this is... Is this the Rainbow River? Yeah. The Rainbow River. You can see manatees in here. 
and you can rent canoes and kayaks see how crystal clear that water is monkey's doing her vlog too a video of this rubber it's before. Cool. Um, we had a restaurant that's not far from here that we ate at. Right now is the best time to be down here because See? you can find Walk the right manatees the water. in here. And if we got lucky we might be able to find one. <laughs> but you know if we were out in the river a little bit more like those guys we'd probably see This is just so cool, isn't it? You just walk, step right down into the damn water. See how clear that is? Well, this is all spring fed. This is all spring water, guys. Isn't that cool? Pure water. Give you. A, see, we've got a bunch of. That's cool. January the eighth, and we're seeing this. So, my friends and family up north, eat your hearts out. And beautiful. Yeah, you can walk right into the water and swim. Um, there's a, uh, you can uh, take that boat on a tour. Let's see if I can zoom in. I can't see real well. This camera's like real, uh, the screen is like real dark. So the other one, the one I usually use, and, and the zoom is kind of loud. But the one she's using, that's the one I normally use. But I gave it to her. Because she really likes it. It's easy to use. That's the blue one. That one there has made some videos. But, so, she's doing her little vlog. Because, you know, we know she hasn't had much time. So... Good, how are you? Yeah. But yeah, you can rent the canoes, the boards, and the uh, the kayaks. Uh, that one board there is a, what they call a paddle board that you stand up and you paddle it. You stand up on it. So, that's pretty cool. Selfie time. So, yeah. Beginning of January, and I am here with no jacket on. There's a little chill in here, but it's not bad. So, and I gotta get used to speaking up because this mic's not as good as a Sony mic. So, but yeah, well, there we go. We just thought we'd share share this with you because I'd never been here she said you want to stop there I was like I thought she's joking I said what is it she said well it's a park it's real beautiful it's on the water you'd like it I said yeah let's go check it out uh, let me see if I can pick these fish up see the fish There's the fish. Yeah, she's looking for the manatees. Isn't that cool? Yep. So, anyway guys. But yeah, you can just walk right down these steps and go right in the water. There's another one right over here. That comes down. You can walk into the water. This is uh, swim area here that's what the buoys are for 
So that's pretty cool. This is nice. Isn't that nice? Yeah, thank you. I was just telling him, I thought you were joking at first. You're like, no, it's beautiful. It's on the water. I was like, hell yeah, let's go check it out. So. And we should really try to rent one of these kayaks one day, maybe. That would be fine. Or one of the boats. And just we could just rent one and go down the river here. That would be fun. You ever been in a kayak? No. Probably better rent a canoe then. Yeah. But yeah, kayaking would be fun. Yeah. I don't think I could do it anymore, though. What, a kayak? Yeah, because of my arm. Yeah, but you'd be helping me. Yeah, yeah. Kayak, you know, I gotta do it all myself. It might not be too bad. No. But, yeah, so let's take a walk up here. And the stabilization on this camera is not as good as the Sony either. I mean, all in all, I do like the camera, but I wouldn't have. If I would have bought this brand new for 180 bucks, and that's what they cost, uh, no, it would have went back. Yeah, see, these are those boards you just stand on, and you got a big, like a big oar that you use. Yolo, yeah. Yeah, like she said, uh, well, she's never been in a kayak, so um, those are real weird, If you, which I know a lot of you guys have been, so you know what I'm talking about, but she's thinking she could just get in it like a boat, and that's not the case. Now this, I think she'd be all right in, uh, hopefully. Uh, she did all right in our canoe, but it was a wide bottom. This is a canoe. So she'd have to be very, very careful, even on this. But, beautiful. I mean, and, and this is like this all the way across. This whole, this whole river is like this. No matter where you go, you can see the bottom. So this spring, when we either get another boat or rent one of these boats we will uh, uh, yeah see this is where you can you can also bring your own bring your own canoe down and you launch it right here or there's a boat launch right here so uh, but you know I'll take the GoPro I'll bring the GoPro and we'll get some underwater shots so this is pretty cool very beautiful Alright, I'll kick you guys back on here again in a minute. Okay, I don't know what this is, but I thought I'd share it with you. Is that the Goodyear blimp? Yep, I sure Yeah, it is. Goodyear blimp. Let me see if I can get close. Here, I'm going to bring you up here where I can get you steady. I thought I'd share this with you pretty windy out. I didn't think they'd have it up. It's low. Very low. Yeah. Probably because of the wind. Remember that one time I saw it over there and um, kind of it was over near Bish now? Yep. But it was like Panasaki. That's what it was. Uh, sorry about the wind, guys, but I'm going to try to get you propped up here. Oh, cool. And we'll get zoomed in on it pretty good. Okay. Give me one second. Sorry about the wind. Your blimp. You got him? Yeah. I would turn it on though. There we go. I think that is the Goodyear blimp. Yep, sure is. Wow, isn't that cool? We were riding home and this is what we saw. Awesome. Okay guys, so that was our day. All we gotta do now is wait for the doctor to go over everything and get in contact with us and see what he wants to do. Yeah, but we had a good day though after that, huh?
Yeah, we did a little thing. Not nothing big, but we went. And yeah. Just did the wrong the river there. That's yeah. the Rainbow River. Rainbow that's. River. We saw the you guys saw the Rainbow River and yeah. uh, of course the blimp. We saw the blimp. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah. That was not expected. No. No. I just happened to look over. I seen it. I was like, pull down in there. I don't know what you're looking at. I'm looking at a fucking. Come on, follow me. <laughs> Oh, I see it. <laughs> yeah, it, the tree was in the friggin' way. I couldn't see it. <laughs> and then once you got closer to the lake, there you, you had more open area. Yeah. So you could see it better. That it was, was pretty cool. Yeah, it was windy there, so. Yeah. Well, it's choppy. Sorry about the wind, but. Yeah. Now traffic, of course. And we're in the backyard at home. So. <laughs> always something. I yeah. don't worry about it. And then this guy next door has chopped my friggin' bushes. Oh, he chopped mm. his bushes. No, they're my bushes on his property. I think that's what it was. They were growing over there. So he just hacked away. So now I gotta look at his friggin' backyard. Yeah, well. He'll grow though. I mean, you know, he's allowed to cut. He didn't cut anything on us, so. Yeah, so I'm not too happy, but he'll grow. Oh, yeah, but. It's... And if it doesn't grow, we're putting a fence up. Well, see those, those that goes show you his bushes. That was all his shit growing up there. No, I don't think they were. I think yeah, part because, of them were mine that were on his property. Well, then they weren't yours. Well, he's on his allowed property. to cut as long as they're on his. Yeah. Yeah. So that's all he did was cut what was on. And he him. didn't even clean up his mess over there. He well, still got it all laying all over the place. He didn't even burn it. Stupid. Whatever. Plant bamboo back there, and in about I six months, half fire. his ha half his front yard will be bamboo. <laughs> well, backyard. Yeah. yeah, we need to have a fire. Yeah, we got all that stuff to burn. Yeah. You burn for hours. Too. And all that stuff out out there from that mm -hmm. other tree limb that fell, and then all this stuff. Yeah, we need to clean the backyard up, I guess. Yeah. Oh look, is that a squirrel squirrel nest up there on that yeah. little limb? You see it? It's yeah. just hanging. Yeah, that's a squirrel nest right there. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. I don't think they're using it anymore. They used it last year. I see them going in and out of them. Yeah. Yeah, little baby gray squirrels. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> we got a shit ton of squirrels around here. Yeah, that's one we thing we do. We got too many. Yeah, because many. I can't even get the birds in here because of it. They'll come, but they don't stay too long. And you can't yeah. have food out because... Well, they chewed out. They were living in that. They were living in your your birdhouse I built for you. Yeah. See how big they gnarled out I've never out the... seen a bird in there. Well, no, because the squirrels, see how big they gnarled out the hole? Yeah. But so. it's there, so... Yeah. At least nature's using it. Yeah. You know, still. Yeah. Alright, so anyway, guys, thanks for hanging with us today. We appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Thanks for coming along for the ride, and hope everybody's having a good day themselves, so... Yep. That being said... Stay tuned for more awesome videos from Monkey1000 and Shaber1000, and we'll chat you guys soon. Bye, y'all. All right, Shaber, the myth, the main legend. I'm gone for now. <laughs> I'm going to do it. <laughs> what? No, I wouldn't. Why? Do what you want. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. She takes away all my fun. <laughs> I don't want to know. <laughs> oh, come on. They don't want to know. Radioactive man. Bye. Really? <laughs>